Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today's deal comes to you from Walmart. So I haven't been to Walmart in an eternity and I finally made it there to do it and I bought a haul. This is a small but mighty haul. I was super excited with how it turned out. I was completely out of trash bags. So I did a fantastic trash bag deal at Walmart among a bunch of other things. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're returning, I appreciate you as well. Take a second and hit that like button and subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And because we're coming up on the new year, I'm really giving a lot of thought to how I want to structure my channel. So I think what I want to do is a combination of couponing videos as well as product reviews for you guys. So that's something to look forward to in 2022. If you have additional things that you would like to see on my channel, please drop a comment down below and let me know what those are so that I can take those into consideration. All right, guys. So if you are new, some things you should know. Number one, I always leave a printable breakdown in the description box for you guys. Number two, I always leave links to different rebate apps. So there are rebate apps I will be mentioning in this video. And there are a lot of other rebate apps that I didn't necessarily use in today's video, but check those out. They're free to sign up and to use, and they are the best way to maximize your savings right along with using coupons. So let's jump right into these deals. Alrighty guys, so this is everything that I grabbed at Walmart, a total of 11 items. I did have an Ibotta bonus giving me $3 back for redeeming six offers. So I completed that bonus and I also had an Ibotta rebate giving me 25 cents back for scanning any grocery receipt. I also had a Shopkick walk-in bonus just for walking in Walmart and opening up the Shopkick app. I received four additional cents. So all of those bonuses will be accounted for in my totals. So the first thing I had to do was I had to grab another Rockstar Energy drink. My Ibotta reset for this. So the 16 ounce cans are $1.50. And I bought it is giving us a dollar fifty back, making that completely free. Another thing I was so excited to find in my store were these Clorox nine count wipes. Now on the Walmart website and app, it was telling me that these were a dollar seventy five a piece. But when I got into the store, I noticed they were actually ninety seven cents a piece. They're in the travel section in my store, so I grabbed up two of these for the I bought a rebate. Two of them cost $1.94. I bought us giving us $1.75 back when we buy two, making our final cost 19 cents for both packs of wipes. This was the whole reason that I went to Walmart, guys. The Glad Force Flex 40 count 13 gallon trash bags. It has to say with Clorox on it. There are a lot of different types of Glad Force Flex that do not have Clorox, so be sure you're grabbing the right one if you wanna do this deal. These are priced at $8.18 .18 at my store. We have a $1.50 printable from coupons.com. It does specify it has to be on the 34 count or higher box. And we have a $1.50 rebate on Ibotta specifically for the Glad Force Flex with Clorox. So after that coupon and the Ibotta rebate, my final cost was $5.18 for this item, but that's before my Ibotta bonus and my shop kick, walk-in kicks and all of that good stuff. So stay tuned. I'm going to let you know what I ended up paying for everything here. It was less than $5.18. So the Durex I had to grab because they're a moneymaker. These are the Air and there are three condoms in each box. So... These are priced at $2.78. Two packs of these would cost $5.56, but I bought us giving us $3 back up to a limit of two. So a total of $6 back from Ibotta makes both boxes completely free and a 44 cent moneymaker. So that's an item, even if you wouldn't use this or don't need this, you can pick up, get your moneymaker, and then donate these items, guys. The Turtles Dark Chocolate Pecan Three Count. These are up by the register. They're a dollar a piece. I bought it. It's still giving us 75 cents back on that, making our final cost just 25 cents. 
And this was a nice money maker, the Vaseline Lip Balm. These are 97 cents for this stick. And this is a great time of year to be purchasing this. So we have a Shopkick rebate giving us $2.30 back for buying any Vaseline item. It does say any Vaseline item. I did get my Shopkick kicks back for this. So getting $2.30 back made my final cost for this free in a $1.33 money maker. Now, if there's a different Vaseline item that you want to pick up, it may or may not end up a freebie. But if you are just looking for a nice little money maker, this is the cheapest Vaseline item that they carry at my store. And then we have some Godiva deals. So we have this Godiva dome. And I don't think I've ever tried these. The boxes always look so beautiful. This would make a nice little gift item. So they're $4.98 and Shopkick is giving us $4 back on that, making it just 98 cents. And then this Godiva Signature Mini Bars. I have tried these before and they are of course delicious. These are $2.98 and Shopkick is giving us $2.20 back, making our final cost for this just 78 cents. So these are nice little cheap items that you can grab, no coupons needed, and they make nice little additions to gifts that you might be putting together for Valentine's Day. Oh, and one quick other thing I wanted to mention on the Vaseline lip balm, the scan kicks do not work on that item on Shopkick, so I couldn't get my scan kicks. You can scan a different Vaseline item to get your scan kicks if you want to, but the $2.30 is just for purchasing that item. And then we've got the Mentos gum with vitamins. This is really interesting to me. I do take vitamins on a regular basis. Looks like it has some B and C vitamins in that gum. I'm gonna have to taste this and see if you can taste the vitamin-y flavor or not. At any rate, these are $3.34 and Shopkick is giving us $3.22 back, making this just 12 cents. So I had to pick it up for that just to try it out. Okay guys, so total value for these 11 items was $30.45. I only had one coupon and it was printable. So you guys head to coupons.com, see if you can print that coupon or if you've already printed it, that's the only coupon I used in this haul. Subtotal after that coupon was $28.95. So I did pay that with cash and gift cards. I tend to roll my shop kicks um, points into Walmart gift cards. So I had $10 in gift cards to use, which was phenomenal. I always scan every receipt into Fetch Rewards. So this time when I scan my receipt, I got five cents from Fetch. Shopkick gave me $11.76 back and Ibotta gave me $14.75 back. That made my final cost for everything $2.39 plus tax, which I will take all day long. So it was actually cheaper for me to grab all these items going to the store than it was for me just to grab my trash bags. How amazing. So even if I didn't need any of these items, I still ended up saving money. And of course, this would be an even bigger money maker if you omitted some of those Shopkick deals that I did, but I just couldn't pass up on the Godiva for less than a dollar a piece. I mean, that's just fantastic. So here's my little bitty receipt. And if you guys have watched my channel, you know I have a favorite self-checkout cashier at Walmart who likes to scrutinize every coupon. He was not there. I miss my buddy. I'm sure he misses me. <laughs> I did have an issue with that coupon though, guys. It didn't want to scan for me. Um, I don't know what the issue was. It just said exception item and it said the cashier would assist me. They did come over and assist me. At any rate, here you can see my subtotal, $28.95 plus tax. And then I used $10 in gift cards to lower my out-of-pocket cost. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. As I mentioned before, if you have any um, specific types of videos you would like to see outside of just regular couponing videos or product reviews, let me know that as well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And stay tuned because I do hope to have a little bit more structure in 2022. So I will be uploading that to my community tab to let you guys know my plans for that, for the new year. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, guys, happy couponing.